All right, we're just taking a half hole here because there's a half hole as is my shovel. Look at the state of that handle. But yeah, handles are just made of scrap nowadays and it's all the handles I can get. So there's our two holes sank. That was a bit of a torture there. Massive stones. You see that stone that's sitting up again there? Well, that's the foundation of this rocky looking pier that sits here in front of it. Some of you might ask, are you not rebuilding the pier, Adrian? Well, I am. I am rebuilding the pier, just not right now. There's nobody available, but we are going to get it rebuilt back to the same height, maybe a little bit lower, but putting it back to the same way it used to be. So that's the reason I'm putting the gate on the inside of it. We're not going to disturb it whatsoever, so we can come along then and build it with this gate being here as we please. I was considering building a pier here just to match the other one. I built it myself. It wouldn't take me long to build either. Just dig out the foundations and put in a concrete base first and then put my pier in. But lorries and things that have to come in here. So I don't want to put something that's going to restrict entrance. So I'm going to leave that for now and wait till we have our job done on this cottage, whenever that might be. And then we'll build our pier walls last. But for now, I'm going to stick a post over here, somewhere in here against this bankment that we can pull a gate across on and latch it in and then fence up our wire and things put everything back the way it was just to lay the whole thing closed up and secure and then we can take our time and do as we please then Right, so we're just after dropping over mixer there in the front of the tractor. Sophia's going to do a camera walk for me now in a while. I have two concrete posts sitting down there in the middle of the bales, but I also have these. Three eight foot ESB poles there, good heavy ESB poles. And by right, I should have lifted them out before the bales put in, but didn't plan that one too well.
had to move the camera across because your boxers are in the way. Your what? Your box. You can see your boxers. Oh, you can see my boxers. Well, you're right. No one wants to see them old boxers. At least not free to air. That's subscription stuff. You watch. Yeah, Get it in the centre. It's not flat. Oh yeah, your side. That's it there. So you go this side, yeah. Keep it down. There you go. Oh look at that. Look at that. Lovely. It's good. The boxers and show again. Sorry. Apologies. Oh, the purple. Purple. Right. Well, they're not mine. They're, they're your mother's. One thing that's good to do is to keep it high around the post just so whenever any moisture does come down or rain comes down or water it runs away from the post rather than laying next to it. it just prolong the life of your post. First thing we're going to do is put this bolt on here so we can adjust how far we want to get to sit out. Stick on a washer. Okay, in there. Go on. Yeah. This job would be very, very easy with two hands, or two sets of hands, sorry. I have two hands. Just another set of them is what I needed, but I don't have any help today. It's Saturday morning, everybody's off doing different things, so I've got this prop here. I'm hoping, because you kind of have to slide it in all in one, you can hang it, that you can lift the gate off. I don't like doing that. I just like the gate to be on, and it can't be lifted off unless you loosen both and pull the whole thing out. So I'm going to make an attempt. It's going to be ugly, but that's the joys of editing. All right, bit of a dilemma here. I've hung that one perfectly level and as low as I can put it down. And I do need to raise this gate ever so slightly. So it's not gonna happen with that wall cap on top of it. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go home. And I'm gonna have to make a bracket that'll come out here. I might have to cut a section of this. We're replacing all this anyway. But for now, I might just have to make a plate that comes up to here that I can weld on an eye on it just to raise this gate up. I have no problem putting one on the bottom. But I cannot get one on the top, so I had hoped it would have worked, but I knew as soon as I hung that one and the way it sat, it just was not going to happen.
Right, so I'm at a drill bit. I only have this large one left. It's overheated. It's ready for the scrap heap, but I'm going to try for a wee bit of an edge and just to bore out these last holes. So that's the bottom one, I just met it at home and all it is is a bit of 10 mil steel and uh, an old gate hanger, you can use a bit of piping if you want and a washer welded on the bottom of it because it is a bottom one. This is a little thing here and all it is is a chalk uh, marker but it's a pressurised chalk marker so if you've got holes and things and you want to hang shelves on a wall or anything you want to do and you can't get a pencil into the hole to mark the wall, these are absolutely great. I've seen them on a YouTube channel in America somewhere and I seen a fella using them and I said to myself what are those so Amazon quick search and I found them I'm not putting up any brands around them. I'm just saying you can get loads of different types of ones but I got this in Amazon and I don't know what it was it wasn't very dear now I got two of them together I think but brilliant absolutely brilliant mark these two holes sprays a little dot a chalk dot clearly marks everything so it's easy to see as well That boy's going to sit like that. So if you kind of get me, he'll be bolted to the wall low enough that he's not going to cause any harm to the wall. And that fella will sit up like that and leave me room to weld my eye on so the gate's in the proper place. But to do that, I am going to have to cut this pier. Morning, different day, and as you can see with me leather hat, which I actually love. A lot of people do pick out of me leather hat. And there's nothing wrong with it. I can tell you that I bought this about 12 years ago, and it's one of the best investments ever made. Keeps the sun off you. It's cool, and when weather is like this, it's vital. But yeah, we had 21 or two mil. It was given last night. Weather warning. We had a storm. There's branches down everywhere. The roads is flooded. 2023. But there is our gates hung and done so then brackets walked out of the tree it's not a great pier but it will do for now um now we tip for you if you're walking on gates like this yourself if you have two gates closed and there's several ways you can latch them stop them swinging back and forth you can put sort of like a scissor hinge on top so basically two flat pieces of steel put a bolt through here just to have as a hinge point and you can slide it back and forth so another way around it is to take your latch out on this side if it's the same gate as this just take your latch out on this side you only have to cut the well is on this and the latch will slide straight out and then you can come along just as I did and latch that one into it and that holds it. Now I will make a thing for the top of it. I'm not making today because I have a load of other stuff to get done now in the next couple of days but it's secure now. It's hung and it'll finish that job off nicely. I'm going to finish this in stud railing. A couple of posts the whole way around and maybe three or four rails. The whole way around the bottom here will look much much nicer and put a nice black finish on it. But here's our gate, all latched in. I'm not gonna open it because it's very windy, but it's on and it's done. Uh, I have to cut the top of that pole just to tidy that bit up. And then again, what I'll do here is I'll put a post down here. I'll take that one out, it's only hanging there. But I'll put a proper post down there and I will pull the barbed wire that's in the hedge up to that and then I will just finish it with rails. Just the timber rails, the same as what will be on here. And then in here, 
I wanted to purposely keep that away, but we can't leave a gap like that, obviously, with cattle and things. So again, just a post inside and a couple of little bits of timber railing going into the hedge for now. And it looked real good. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.